whenever I have the opportunity, I do really like to walk through, you know, the homes with the potential buyer and point out that level of finish. You know, I touch, you know, the rounded corners and the arch soffits, and I put my hands on the granite countertops and the stainless steel appliances by Whirlpool and those kinds of things. This interview is brought to you by Rendering House. One of the biggest challenges we face in new home sales is not being able to show the customer a completed home. Rendering House helps home builders advance the selling process, utilizing photorealistic augmented reality, virtual reality, and 3D renderings. Transform your boring static renderings into engaging customer experiences across all digital marketing channels. Visit renderinghouse.com. Hey everybody, Quint Lear's newhomesales.com. I'm here with Elizabeth Hundley. You might have recognized her from last year. We're at the Best Home Building Practices Summit. Great to see you again here at the conference. Thanks, Quinn. Always good to see you also. So how's the conference been so far? Conference has been great. I always learn something new when I'm here, so I've really enjoyed being here. Awesome. Um, Elizabeth is with uh, Houston Homes out of uh, Tennessee, correct? So they're actually based in Columbus, Georgia, but I am the area manager for their Knoxville, Tennessee market. Awesome. So rising star, we, when we met you last couple years ago, you were just getting in and now you're you know, moving up to sales and sales management and, and mentoring people. I like to say that you don't have to wait a long time to become great in this business. You can, you can rise quickly. What are some of the things that you've done differently to succeed? Well, uh, perseverance uh, definitely has helped, you know, being motivated and being dedicated and just setting goals for myself, continually setting goals and, you know, working really hard to achieve those. Um, one thing that I do personally in my personal life is I actually work with a life coach and I have a life coach that I meet with via video conference once a month and she is wonderful. You know, I've been working with her for several years and she's great because she really helps keep me on track with my personal and professional goals so that, you know, things don't kind of fall off and we're, you know, consistently working toward those all the time. What, what's her name and uh, what, what, name a couple of things that she's taught you or made an impact? Her name is Jennifer Johnson, and her business is called Meditate Create. Uh, she is based out of Wilmington, North Carolina. Um, and, you know, several things that she's helped me with are, um, you know, basically just writing things down and kind of helping me sort of put things in perspective. You know, if I start, you know, feeling like things aren't really going the way that I want it, you know, helping me reframe things and just, you know, perception really is reality. And when you can reframe something, you know, that really helps a lot. So I would say, you know, one example would be, you know, years ago, whenever I would leave town for vacation or a conference or anything like that, I would get really, really, really stressed out because if there was a lot of activity, I would be thinking, gosh, I really need to be at work right now. Oh my gosh, you know, I probably should be back there, you know, doing, doing that instead of, you know, what I'm doing right now. But now I think, oh, wow, this is great. This is so exciting. You know, I'm actually out of town doing something that's helping me in my professional career. And at the same time, you know, I have people who I'm working with on you know getting their purchase agreements ready to go and everything so instead of you know being stressed out by that being excited by that level of activity even if I'm not there you know to manage it uh, at the model home you know, what I see uh, in you is that you're always investing in yourself and trying to improve and trying to achieve you know um, Grant Cardone says if you don't uh, invest in yourself don't be surprised if other people don't either something like that um, where does that come from and what what are your goals well, you know, it definitely comes from um, just wanting to, you know, achieve a lot of things in a short amount of time. Uh, you know, five years ago, I was working two part-time jobs with no health insurance. And so at that time, I really, you know, started working with Jen and decided that, you know, I wanted to get to a different place in my life and I wanted to get there quickly. And so, you know, just having that desire, you know, was really, really important to me and I needed to do it fast because I'm, you know, I'm not 22 years 
years old, you know, so I'm, you know, a little bit farther down the road. So, um, you know, I would say my goals right now are, you know, I'm still pretty new with Houston Homes. I just started on January 3rd. So my goals now are really, you know, I'm heavily invested in, you know, being uh, the area manager for them in this Knoxville market and, you know, just really getting very, very proficient in my role there. And I want to get better all the time. You know, I'm constantly identifying areas, you know, where I need to build on and, and work at to, you know, to get, you know, better at what I'm currently doing. So I'm, you know, trying to be very much in the present with my, my current role and, you know, just trying to really excel at that. You mentioned that you had two part-time jobs. Well, now you have a career in new home sales and in the home building industry. Tell me the difference from the job that you had before to new home sales as a profession. <laughs> So I have a long history in restaurants and retail. Uh, and so I think, you know, both of those industries have served me well uh, in this business because, you know, there definitely are transferable skills there. Uh, you know, both of those industries are, are tough. You know, they're long hours. It's a lot of work. And, you know, I would work in a women's clothing store all day long and then I would change clothes and then I would go to the restaurant and work at the restaurant at night. Uh, so, yeah, definitely hustling. That's for sure. So. Uh, Let, let's get real quick into new home sales. Get the greeting. What do you do different? Um, tell me some tactics to help equip the frontline sales professionals from when you first came into like now as a professional who's who's achieving. Right. Well, you know, the biggest thing is, uh, you know, finding out their name, of course. So, you know, hi, I'm Elizabeth from Houston Homes, and you are, you know, if they don't don't offer their name. And then my first question is, is this your first visit to Dutchtown Woods? Uh, and just kind of find out, you know, if they have been to the neighborhood before. Uh, and so, you know, obviously that's going to lead into, you know, some other things. And then also find out how much time do you have to look at our models today? Um, so then I sort of know, you know, if they have... 10 minutes, then, you know, I need to accelerate things a little bit. Or if they say, oh, we have all afternoon, then I can maybe take a little bit more time. But I want to make sure that I get them the right information in the time that they have. Now, when you're presenting the home, anything that you do different or what do you try to point out? Well, Houston Homes has an extremely high level of included features and finishes for a volume builder. So we are a high quality volume builder, um, but they started out as a semi-custom builder and it was really important to them to retain that high level of finish, you know, even when they just made the decision to move from semi-custom to the volume builder. So that is definitely something that sets us apart. So whenever I have the opportunity, I do really like to walk through, you know, the homes with the potential buyer and point out that level of finish because you know it's really important for them to have a good understanding about what they're getting and then what they're going to be paying for that at the end of the day so I really try to you know I touch you know the rounded corners and the arch soffits and I put my hands on the granite countertops and the stainless steel appliances by Whirlpool and you know walk out on the signature game day porch with the wood burning fireplace and all of those things and um, you know try to you know get them to imagine themselves living in the home so you know who's the main cook in your household you know could you see yourself cooking a meal for your family here and those kinds of things. That's beautiful. I love you said signature game day porch instead of a what? Patio. So your signature game day. You hear what she's doing? The wordsmithing. Okay, now how do you transition people to owning the home? Well, so at the end, you know, I mean, I've, I've asked several questions like that, you know, um, you know, if, do, do you have a dining room? Could you see yourself using this room as a dining room? Could you see your living room furniture fitting in a room like this? Could you see yourself, you know, uh, having a fire and, you know, watching a UT game on this um, game day porch, those kinds of things. And, you know, getting a lot of affirmative responses, you know, sort of helps them um, feel some ownership there. And then also at the end, you know, asking, is this the type of home you'd like to own um, and so you know a lot of times we do get a, a yes response on that but you know getting lots of little uh, yes or affirmative responses you know definitely helps them to feel some ownership any last uh, tips feedback suggestions for frontline people people that are trying to be successful in this business anything at all any last shout outs yeah, absolutely. So, you know, our broker, Richie Eubanks, is our, our mentor pretty much for everybody on the team. And one thing that he always says is always be the most patient person in the room and, you know, the calmest person in the room. And so, you know, sometimes we have buyers in front of us who are, you know, can be a little bit, uh, you know, upset or a little bit, you know, um, 
whatever it is, you know, maybe not the most positive um, feeling that they're having. And so that's going to happen to everybody at some point. And so just remembering to be the calmest person in the room, you know, and always sort of being in control, you know, that's definitely a, a, a good one for me that I try to remember too. Yeah. And, and not being impacted, you know, all you can do is react, you know, in a positive way in that situation. And um, so, yeah. So well, listen, we're proud of you. I know your team is proud of you. You're doing and we're going to keep, keep your eyes on Elizabeth. How do we see what you're doing and, and your community? So you can go to HoustonHomes.com is a great place. And then a really, really, really good source of information about Houston Homes is our Facebook page, which is Houston Homes of Tennessee LLC. There are a lot of really good pictures there uh, for we do a follow the build, you know, for the homes that are currently under construction. So you can see the progression. And then, you know, I also do some really, really, really bad videos. So if you want to go and, you know, laugh at my videos, you can certainly do that on that page as well. They're, you do they're great not videos. anything like yours, that's for hey, sure. Hey, now look, there's some people <laughs> watching right now and they're trying to decide whether they should hit the subscribe button what what advice would you have for that person I would say definitely subscribe because there's a lot of really good information there so newhomesales.com bringing you insights ideas and best practices from the best in the business thank you Elizabeth